Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Dual, aka the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Back again with another review, but this time I'm doing the other franchise I'm doing for my special Shark Week. I am going to be focusing on the film that really put Steven Spielberg on the map. Jaws from 1975. Originally released by Universal. This is a film that is actually based on the book by Pierre Benchley. The film stars Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, and Richard Dreyfus. Now film starts out when it's still kind of dark and these teens are having a bit of a kind of a camp camp out sort of party on the beach this girl named Chrissy starts running off and this guy follows her she's preparing to go swimming and gets strips off all her clothes and Get jumps in the water, and the air guy just can't catch up. Chrissy on the coming of the water, but unbeknownst to her, there is something mysterious going on in the water. Now, this film was rated PG because the PG-13 ring was not yet introduced. And, well, it could have gotten an R ring, but, well, it didn't have much blood and gore and what have you, except for maybe later on. But anyway, something happens, starts getting caught and starts going in their directions when something's got a hold of her. It apparently turns out to be a great white shark as it turns out. And it comes to the attention of Sheriff Brody, played by Roy Scheider, and apparently he doesn't know what's actually going on here until he soon gets that a little help when when a fisherman named Quint played by Robert Shaw tells him and the townsfolk everything especially after what happened to a little boy who later gets pulled down by the same shark which they never know what it is, but they find out what it is. And um, when tells them, it's a great white shark, he'll swallow you whole. Yeah. And so, with the help of, well, this marine biologist guy, played by Richard Dreyfus, I forgot the name of the character. I do apologize for not knowing. It's been a long time since I've seen this, and I know some of y'all have already done reviews on it. But anyway, they try to find the shark, but soon they have many failures and what have you. But soon, they decide to take a chance. Well... The marine biologist cut, dives down to take a look at strange happenings that had recently occurred and soon finds this guy's he severed head. Yeah, and apparently that's one of those few shock moments. Now, like I guess it's been a long time since I've seen it since I, I probably can't, won't be mentioning all the kills, but I'll tell you what I thought of this movie. This movie is definitely... Very good. It's actually one of my absolute favorite shark flicks. I absolutely love how this movie's done. The characters, excuse me, are real good. Again, we got great performances from Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, and Richard Dreyfus. Plus, all the rest of the cast is pretty good too. Now, what's what else is good that I liked about Jaws is, of course, the score to the movie, especially the Jaws theme song, which, uh, please do not see me universal, because I know how that goes if you are. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I won't continue on. So, again, please own Studio Universal or whoever does it, because that's just my own. I have the Jaws theme song. That is probably one of the great songs, great great themes to a great movie done by the John Williams. I believe he did the score for this. Possibly a good one before he even did scores for the original Star Wars and the for Star Wars and Superman after that. But even so, I gotta say, it's pretty good. Now, I will tell you about the final act, though. So, if you have not seen this movie, I'll give you five seconds to stop. Okay, even if you didn't stop, I'm sure a lot of y'all have already seen Jaws, so I just threw that up just in case. But anyway, the final act on the... This is really good, actually. And they finally find the shark, and they really start to attack it. They manage to attack with a like a harpoon gun, and as a rub attaching these yellow barrels. But soon, things take a turn for the worse, and Quint is caught and is devoured. And apparently, we do see some blood in that. What could have been if it was R rate? The movie was R rated. Well, anyway, but soon the the marine biologist student and Brody were still there. They managed to get the shark to get one of the those big those oxygen tanks. And this is when we get the best line. Brody aims a, aims a gun and he's like, Smile, you son of a... And BOOM! That shark is blown to kingdom come. Definitely one of the best moments I could expect from this. But I liked almost a lot of what I experienced from a movie like Jaws. Since it's shark, we got decided to go ahead and do this early review early. Since even though it will be celebrating its 45th anniversary next year, but anyway, Jaws did very well. Actually, it became the first big summer blockbuster ever when it was released in 1975. It would go on to spin off three sequels, which I'll be talking about. Those I will review Jaws to tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, I'll do Jaws 3, and then I'm going to hate myself for doing but I got to do it. On Thursday, I will do Jaws the Revenge, which that's easily my least favorite of the bunch. But anyway, I, oh yeah, and then after that, I will be ranking those movies along with a ranking of the Sharknado flicks. But I'll be ranking Jaws first, since I like that more in Sharknado. Even though I'm doing Sharknado before Jaws in the reviews. <laughs> but anyway, what did you think of Jaws? Please feel free to let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank you for watching. Again, tomorrow I'll review Jaws 2 and Sharknado The Fourth Awakens. Once I re watch that on Prime, of course. Anyway, also you can check me out on the Facebook group Horror Enthusiast 101. Along with Derek from Derek's Horror Corner, Aaron from Miles Z Movies, Desmond from Desmond's Flicks, Robbie from Ogre Boy. 1992, Esley from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews, Corey from CDR, Devin from Hey Isn't That Devon Graham, I meant Devon, not Devon, sorry, my apologies, <laughs> and many other mo movie lovers of horror and what have you. Check us out. You can also find me on Movie Talk. In reviews, another Facebook page where I usually post some of my reviews on there, where if it's not horror or not. But anyway, that'll do it for my vid. Until next time, I'm the Big D. Thank you for watching again, and see ya.